program features and uninstall uh, your old version of Simavio. So in this case it's Simavio 1.1.12.14 and I'm just going to um, click uninstall here and completely remove all of the components. Now it may not be completely uninstalled at this point so we have to go in to the folder and make sure ev all the files were gone. So I've gone to uh, my computer and double click on your C drive then program files scroll down and look for Simavio and it is still there there's is still a folder there so open it and you'll see that there's a panels folder in there and that was probably where you had saved away all of your old FTS files. None of these FTS files are compatible with the new Simavio. So let's just go ahead and uh, delete that entire folder from my computer. All right, now you should go into your uh, X-Plane folder and go into your aircraft folder and delete any uh, FTS X-Plane aircraft uh, from there because with the new installation you're going to get uh, updated X-Plane ACF files as well. So you're going to want to go ahead and delete those files. Okay, now we're ready to start the new installation of Simavia once we've made sure that uh, we've removed all uh, remnants of the, of the old application off of our computer. So you can, you can for, uh, install Simavio or the panels, uh, the order of it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the uh, Simavio application. And on the first um, page it just uh, reminds you to make sure that you've removed any uh, existing versions of Simavio from the computer. And accept the agreement after reading it. Um, click Next and install. It's going to begin the uh, installation process. And I'm going to pause this while it's doing it. Okay, then it came to the end of the uh, MSXML 6.0 uh, installation and you can just click finish for that. Now it takes you to the next part of the uh, installation and you've completed the uh, installation of Simavio but um, now it's going to bring up um, questions about whether you want to run X-Plane on a remote computer. Uh, if you do then you want to run this uh, X-Plane v9 interface setup.exe on the other machine. The uh, file, the installer will be located in the folder users public documents Simavio plugins and I'll show you where that is. You want to copy it to your other machine and then run the installer over there. Um, so basically you want to check this box if you want to run the FTS Xplane interface installer now and you would want to leave uh, that box checked if you're going to be running X-Plane and Simavio on one machine, on this machine. So when you click finish, it's going to launch the FTS X-Plane interface setup wizard. And when we click next, so in this case I am going to be running X-Plane and Simavio on the same machine. So when I click next, again, um, accept the agreement and this window here is um, explaining to you about what you need to do which is browse to the root directory of your X-Plane installation lo location and the installer is going to place automatically the files in your resources plugins folder. Uh, do not run this installer unless X-Plane is first installed on this machine. So here it's going to bring up this browser, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to browse to my current 
location of x plane and I'm not going to go any any deeper in the folder than the root directory. So that's what it's going to look like. And now when I click next, it's going to um, begin this uh, installation. I'm going to click install. And this uh, confirmation window comes up here and you can just click yes normally uh, unless you've done your own programming of keys then um, you don't need to worry about uh, a new keys preferences file being overwritten uh, overwriting your old keys preferences file if you don't want it to overwrite then click no and then you can merge the two uh, text documents later so I'm going to click yes because I don't mind that it overwrites it. Now it's going to go through a C++ uh, redistributable setup. When I click next here, um, <coughs> sometimes it will say that um, it needs to repair it. And that means that you already have the C++ runtime uh, installed in your machine. Do not repair it. Just go ahead and cancel out of the um, C++ redistributable. Um, you already have it installed in your machine. You do not need to reinstall it. But it looks like it, it is not installed in this machine. So I'm going to go ahead and, and say yes, I've uh, read that. And now I've uh, completed with the uh, Simavio installation. Now I can go ahead and install my panels. So when I click next here, accept the agreement, and it's asking again for the root directory where uh, xplane is installed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click next and install. Alright, so what that did is it just placed uh, all of the uh, ACF files in the xplane folder and it put all of my panels in my panels folder. So when I click finish, I can go in there and check to make sure everything installed correctly. Okay, so I'm going to uh, browse to my uh, libraries, documents, and under public documents you're going to see a new folder here called Simavia. Double click on that and we have uh, six folders here. Your panels folder is where the second installer placed uh, your Cessna. Now there's only a single FTS file and there are um, a whole bunch of layout files. So what you want to do is um, is launch Simavio from the start and then you can go in here and browse to and launch any one of your layouts. Um, you also have your default panel, your System 172S and back up here in the main root directory uh, you have your ins installation logs. You might need to send those to uh, Simavio uh, or uh, FTS support you have your uh, instruction manual and nav data. This is uh, you would replace these three files if you would ever like to update your nav data. And your plugins folder is where earlier I was saying uh, if you ever want to install the FTS uh, interface plugin on a different computer, you would either go into the Mac folder if you wanted to. Uh, install it on a Mac, and you need to read this readme file for directions on how to do that, or you would go into the Windows uh, folder and there's only a single file here, you put that onto a uh, USB stick or transfer it across uh, your uh, file sharing network, and then run this installer on your other machine. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, launch Simavia. Go to your uh, Windows icon, All Programs, Simavia, 
and click on the uh, Simavio icon. Okay, now Simavio is uh, loading up, and um, <clears throat> you won't see this window down below here uh, that says it's in demo version um, because my seven day uh, demo period has already expired. Um, but for you, you'll have seven days to. Uh, to unlock the software so you should uh, you will have no problem connecting to X-Plane um, within that seven day uh, grace period. Now that Simavio has launched I'm going to go ahead and click on about license and what you want to do is highlight this and right click copy and go into your email uh, application and send that code to support at flytosim.com and within 24 hours we will return the, uh, the license key which will go into this field. I got my uh, email back from uh, FTS support and so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that text highlight it and then right click and paste and then click install license. At this point you can launch X-Plane and I've already done that here and after you've launched X-Plane go to your plugins folder and there should be a new plugin here called FTS. Click on IP addresses and uh, since we're running X-Plane and Simavio on the same machine the IP address uh, 192.168.1.64 is the same as the uh, FTS IP address. If you get a .255 here, that means that you're not communicating um, with Simavia. So when you click on the, when you look at the Simavia window now, you should see um, the words here connected and also you should see uh, interface test past OK. Okay, one of the most important things you want to do before you even get going is right click on your desktop and select your uh, NVIDIA control panel if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If it's an ATI, go to your ATI control panel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the procedure for NVIDIA. So I brought up my NVIDIA control panel and I'm on the home screen. I should go to 3D settings and manage, click on manage 3D settings and normally you'll be on the global settings. Click on the program settings and then select the program to customize and you want to um, select simavio.exe you won't have that initially in your pull down list so when you click add you can browse to Simavio application and that will be in your C folder program files scroll down to Simavio and click on Simavio and open and that is going to add Simavio as a um, application to this pull down list. Now for this anti-aliasing mode you want to select this to override any application setting and that will allow you to make adjustments to the anti-aliasing setting. You want to make sure that that is on 4x. That's really really gonna, going to improve uh, your text in your instruments if your text looks blocky, um, that 4x anti-aliasing will dramatically improve uh, your text. So then you can click apply and uh, click yes and close that. And now um, you will need to close Simavio and then restart it in order uh, to, um, to see those changes in the anti-aliasing settings.